why you shouldn't become a data engineer in 2025 this video is all about this and today we'll be talking about all the facts and quants quants ki baat kare quantitative analysis hum log kar rahe honge sari cheezon ki with proper facts and proper numbers and at the end of this video you will be getting a proper answer that whether you should become a data engineer or you should explore a different field in the proper perspective because the hype of the data engineering field has been increasing so much and so many people have reached out to me because i am my name is an I am a professional uh, data brick certified professional data engineer, and I have been guiding people from past about four years, and I have been making videos for 4.5 years on data engineering, on interview aspects, on the pro job preparation aspects. So basically, I'll be giving you a proper idea and a proper eye opener to this pro problem. That is, uh, should you get into a data engineering? Should you get into data engineering in 2025? Yes, the very first thing. That is, uh, let's start with the video, and we'll be talking about all the specs. And the very first thing, what happens is when you when you enter as a fresher, the very first thing what happens, कि जब हम fresher के तरह enter होते हैं, we we are not understanding, we are just seeing the hype, the trend, and we are just entering into the market. We should not do that. So I'll be teaching you, I'll be telling you how you can analyze the market, how you can see the market, and then you can decide कि whether you should get into data engineering or you should only, मतलब you should only see the other parts of it like because data engineering one part of of the it there are many parts that have been uh, growing and have been uh, have equal opportunities have equal amount of money that you can earn definitely so we will be talking about those aspects also so let's start with the video so let's firstly start with the numbers that is uh, if we talk about the significant growth of data engineering the very first thing that is uh, uh, the cities like hyderabad bangalore Gur gurugram or noida these kind of cities have uh, grown so much on and they have seen a great uh, explode of data engineering opportunities if we talk about numbers that is nokri nokri has recently uh, announced that in last two years they have seen that 80% increase in the job postings of only data engineering roles and also linkedin data shows that 10 top most demanded skill that is required right now in india that is data engineering in 2024 so yes it is in demand it is in hype but and also if we see the salary range for a fresher in data engineering the salary range of a data engineer can fetch between 6 to 10 lpa depending on the skills depending on the company do it totally depends okay but a range of 6 to 10 lpa can be earned as a fresher and if you are having a good skill set and if you are having a good experience average experience of 4 to 6 years it can grow up to 20 to 30 lpa and if you are a highly skilled professional with about 4 to 6 years of experience you can also earn about 40 lpa literally 40 lpa okay so you can earn this much as a data engineer now there are like if we see about the salaries there are attractive it is a very attractive salary like 10 lpa 12 lpa 40 lpa as a 4 years 5 years years of experience person in a data engineering it is a very good field but data fields are very demanding the learning curve is also very difficult there are many technologies that a person should know and he should he or she should be very skilled in those technologies then only you can expect this much of money or this much of money flow in your career basically so you should be good at this and if you want to prepare the, for this particular role i have already prepared a very free data road map data and analyst and data engineer open the road map that you can literally follow and if you want to also connect with me uh, you can also connect with me for one to one session for on my instagram on my linkedin anywhere you can just connect with me and ask your doubts okay so this are uh, this thing and let's talk about the job competition job competitions has also been a, 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 like uh, uh increasing uh, 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 very much basically the very first thing that is in 2023 it has been seen that more than 1 lakh people have completed their boot camp there are several boot camps in the market they have completed the boot camps and are uh, like uh, searching for the jobs or getting into the jobs in 2000 alone in 2023 more than 1 lakh, lakh people have just learned the skill of data engineering so definitely it has a very good uh, uh, what we say a demand and very good uh, uh, job opportunities out there so yes competition is also more job opportunities are also there so yes you can get into it but if we talk about other roles like if we compare this role with other roles like software engineering if we talk about the salary range of a software engineer it de it depends on if you are a fresher you can start somewhere around in india that is 5 to 10 lp or 12 lp you can expect as a fresher and you can get up to like if you are having a mid a mid experience of about 4 years 3 years you can get into a role with 15 to 25 lpa package that is a very good salary and uh, the growth uh, the growth in india of a software engineering role 
has been increasing about 21% annually. It has been increasing and definitely we have seen the growth. We have seen the people out there in the market. You can just see on YouTube if you want to see the people who are creating the content. They are also earning a very good amount. Okay, so that is also a very good feel with tech and uh, with tech hubs and people are living in different cities and earning uh, more or less equal to a data engineer. Uh, and advantages is like uh, you have a diverse, uh, you can work on diverse technologies like you, uh, you can uh, work on web development, you can work on mobile development you can work on AI solutions and there are many versatile uh, fields that are available in the market that you can definitely work on after that there is a role called as a cloud engineer that is also gives a, if you talk about a cloud engineer a cloud engineer is a person who can earn as an entry level about 7 to 12 LPA and if you are an experienced professional you are having a good hands on you are a skilled professional you can earn something about 25 LPA nothing more less than 25 LPA if you are a skilled person in cloud engineering these all facts all the things are according to the glass door according to a different uh, forums that are available where the people discuss their salary where the people upload their salaries so definitely that is a very good number okay other than that the industry in in 2023 and in annually we have seen in last four to five years five years six years or a decade about 25 percent increase or 25 to 26 percent increase annually the demand of a cloud engineer has been increasing definitely it is also a very good field Okay, then if you see about the skills, if you are good at uh, AWS or Azure or GCP, you can get into it and it is also a very good skill to have and you can also earn a bit, like you can earn a good amount of money as compared to a data engineer, you can earn more in the starting okay and other than that there is also a field called as cyber security cyber security is one of the field top field you can see that as a top field that uh, a fresher can enter into and many people have reached out to me to related to that only asking me how you can get into a cloud uh, like cyber security start your career as a cyber secure inside cyber security domain definitely you can start and how much you can expect basically you can expect about 8 lpa in india you can start with and if you are having a good experience a good skill set you can go up to 20 LPA and you are if you are a highly skilled person with the good certifications of CCN or something like that or cyber security certification you can go up to 50 LPA of about three to four years of experience so definitely it is also a very good field to start with and definitely the demand of cyber security professionals has been increasing the most that is 30 percent annually it has been increasing uh, every year like the demand is increasing the people are there and if you learn about cyber security then definitely you can like because the large enterprise and startups are hiring these uh, cyber security people to protect their data definitely they are required definitely it is all-time demand and it is evergreen field and other than that there are also opportunities that are also preventing and uh, breaches like preventing the breaches cyber security both is both challenging and rewarding also similarly then we talk about the last field that is there are apart from this there are many fields but we have just shortlisted four to five fields in in total so that we can just show you the difference between the fields and also that there are same fields that are available in the market that earns a like equal amount of money you can uh, equal amount amount of opportunities are there equal amount of growth is there equal amount of skills are required definitely you can enter into these fields also okay so last one is DevOps engineering. That is one of the field that in, in starting you can earn up to in India. That is 6 to 10 LP in starting you can easily earn uh, as an entry level uh, person. And after that, if you are an experienced person and if you are skilled enough, you can get up to 20 to 30 LP easily about 4 to 5 years of experience a DevOps guy can enter. Uske baad, that is the growth of DevOps market has been also increasing very, uh, very gradually and in last uh, some years we have seen that 20, about 25% of increase is there annually. Like this is a very great increase like 21% was of uh, software engineer, 25% is of DevOps guy. Okay, so definitely you can earn, uh, learn this thing and for a DevOps engineer, you what all skills are required, there is Jenkins, Docker, uh, uh, then Kubernetes, Dev, uh, Terraform, these kind of things are required to automate the infrastructure structure and to make the infrastructure reliable and seamless for the application to get deployed and it is running uh, seamlessly so th for those things a devops guy is required so the whole motive of this video was to just show you that only data engineering or the field that is getting hyped is not having the opportunity there are many other fields that is also having the opportunities because right now ai data domains these kind of fields are very much getting hyped because i have seen i am i, I myself is a uh, I'm, I'm a data engineer i have been working in this 
field for about four years now about 3.7 years it has been exactly and i have seen that people are reaching out to me from different different roles a good good roles uh, from non techs also from tech also from a experienced person point of view also they are reaching out to me and asking me how they can transit as a data engineer as a data analyst or a business analyst so basically i'll suggest you firstly you should if you are a fresher you should firstly identify that whether you have to get into this field or not whether you are just following the trend whether you are just seeing that everyone if everyone is talking on the social media about the data domain or the ai you want to get into ai no it it, it doesn't work like that if you are good at it if you are because i when when i was a fresher i just explored the things i explored web dev i explored software engineering i explored the data science then i got into data engineering okay so similarly you need to explore different fields then only get into this particular field because all the fields are equally rewarding because in a, as a software engineer also you can earn about 6 to 7 lpa as a fresher as a data engineer also you can earn up to 6 to 7 lpa it depends on your skill set then after some years after 3 to 4 years you can transit into this different fields or you can add up some skills and you can add and you can transit into different fields so those are the things but you should explore all the fields and only decide these things so that was all about the video and if you want any help you can just comment it down i'll try to reply you as soon as possible and definitely you can reach out to me on top mate for one to one sessions if you want to connect with me personally for a roadmap or something like that or if you want some doubts i have also i also have an instagram channel uh, instagram channel also instagram broadcast channel also instagram account also called as data with anurag where we are about 90000 people where we are discussing all about data domain and talking about data domain and i am sharing all the resources all the things all the in interesting things interview tips interview res resources questions everything about data data things so definitely you can connect me there and on linkedin also we can be connected so this was all of our video milta next video mein jai hind vande matram bye bye